Despite spring being well underway, Melbourne found itself hit by a torrential downpour Friday afternoon. Around 16 mm of rain was recorded throughout the day in the city, with Scorby in the east recording the highest rainfall at 23 mm. The sudden downpour prompted the Bureau of Meteorology to issue flood warnings for the state, including for the Greater Melbourne catchments. Commuters travelling home from work were witness to the downpour which came after the Bureau's forecast issued a 95% chance of showers. Almost 8 mm of rain was recorded at Olympic Park in just half an hour, from 3.30 p.m. to 4 p.m. Many took to social media to post photos from drenched train and bus platforms, joking in their captions it was just some drizzle apostrophe. I hate how films romanticize walking in the rain. Mate, it says. I hate it. One person wrote. The snow level in the state were also expected to rise with up to 15 centimetres due overnight thanks to a cold burst. Senior forecaster Richard Carlian from the Bureau of Meteorology told Daily Mail Australia it had been a reasonably cold start to spring, but that temperatures were expected to warm up next week. It has been a little unusual, as we haven't had a 20-degree day yet this month, he said. But that should change next week when Melbourne is expected to reach 22 degrees on the 18th. Mr Carlian also said that the snowfall at ski resorts had been extensive, while most of the rain had fallen in coastal areas. It has been very wet near the coast, but no so much in northern Victoria, where it has been cool but dry, he said. A maximum of 14 degrees is expected for Melbourne on Saturday, with the city dropping to a chilly 7 degrees overnight. But the temperatures were expected to pick up further into the weekend, hitting a top of 18 degrees Sunday and 22 degrees on Monday. Fans heading to the Geelong vs Sydney AFL match would be wise to pack an umbrella, with more rain expected. Hobast. Adelaide and Canberra are also in for cold weather over the coming days, while Perth, Brisbane, Sydney and Darwin are expected to see some sun.